Hi viewers, uh, I will demonstrate in this tutorial to use MySQL connector in an Arduino sketch to access MySQL database and to insert, update and select operations on a table. This can be very useful in situations when an Arduino project requires to store data in a database and later manipulate that data via database queries. This is much more suitable than storing data on an SD card or EEPROM. So let us begin. In order to test our sketch, we need to set up a small LAN of two devices that is an Arduino with Ethernet shield, an 8 port switch, a laptop or a desktop computer running MySQL server, two Ethernet cables to connect Arduino and laptop with the Ethernet switch, and a serial to USB cable to connect Arduino with the laptop USB port. Let us have a look at the setup movie. Okay viewers, so now it is time to create a test database which will be accessed by Arduino Sketch. Have a look at this slide carefully because the next video will implement all this mentioned in this slide. Okay users, so uh, now we are going to create a database with the name Arduino as I have already told you so left click on the on any database and create uh, form appears I've given the name Arduino to the database this is the database has now been created now I'm going to create a table for uh, this database oops I did not select the database first double click Arduino and again create table I'm giving the name uh, to table Arduino underscore census because I am storing, I will be storing sensor data in the table. The first column is record ID, which is an auto generated integer, it's primary key for the table. The second column is sensor ID, which will be the name of the sensor of data type R character with length 30 will not be not null the next column is sensor value it is an integer data type Final column is recorded at this column will contain the timestamp from the system when the value has been value is entered in the table. It's of date time type and the default value is current underscore timestamp. I will insert only sensor name and value. The other two values will be inserted by the database itself. And now I am going to insert some test data in the table. 
because uh, if you run select query there must be some data already present in the table so uh, I will insert data for three sensors uh, with the name TMP sensor underscore 1, TMP sensor underscore 2, TMP sensor underscore 3. Three records for each sensor. I will also demonstrate in the sketch how to insert data from the sketch and how to delete the data from the sketch. data for the sensor is being inserted as you can see After inserting, I will run select query to select all the records from the table to verify that the insertion is correct. As you can see, all the records are showing here. And as a final step, I am going to create a user for the database. Click in the left column at user and privileges. We will select the default database for this uh, user which is Arduino. There you go, select that. And that's it.